Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Technology Bytes, brought to you by Cloud Solutions Academy. I am Naveen Balani. In this week's episode, we will be talking about an important topic. Do you need a reset button for your AI application? So let's understand why you would need to reset your AI application. So let's start with few questions. Do you think AI is changing your thinking ability? From applications recommending what movies to watch, what songs to listen, what to buy, what to eat, what ads you see, and the list goes on. All are driven by applications learning from you or delivering information through collective intelligence. For instance, people like you or location based and so on. But have you ever thought, are you getting the right recommendations or are you just consuming the information as is and adapting to it? Have you ever thought, would you have reached the same conclusion by applying your research and mental knowledge to add on with the information being readily available? Less time and mental ability is spent on problem solving and more effort is spent on searching the solutions online. As we build more smarter applications in future, which keeps on learning everything about you, do you think this would change our thinking patterns even further? Apart from AI systems trying to learn, there can be other ethical issues around trust and bias that I've described in my earlier video. Now as standards and compliance are still evolving in the AI world, we should start designing systems that lets user decide how to use the application and when to reset it. I am suggesting few approaches that can be used to deliver smart and transparent AI applications. The three approaches are the Uber persona model, explainability and auditability, and gamifying the knowledge discovery. So let's understand what I mean by each of these concepts. So let's start with the Uber persona model. Now all application build some kind of semantic user profiles incrementally to understand more about the user and provide recommendation. Making this information transparent to the user should be the first step. Your application can have various semantic user profiles, one about you, one about your community, for instance similar to you or location based and how this has been derived over a period of time. Finally, your application should have a reset profile, which is basically a private AI profile that enables you to use the application without knowing anything about you and let you discover the required information. Leaving the choice to the end user on which profile to use should lead to better control and transparency and making users build the trust in the system. The second theme is explainability and auditability. Now designing applications with explainability in mind should be a key design principle. If the user receives an output from an AI algorithm providing information as to why the output was presented and how relevant it is should be built into the algorithm. This would empower users to understand why a particular information is being presented and turn off any preferences associated with the AI algorithm for future recommendations. For instance, take the example of server auditing, where you have tools that log every request and response, track changes in the environment, tracks access control and risk, and provides end-to-end -end transparency. The same level of auditing is required when AI delivers an output. For instance, what was the input, what versions of model was used, what features were evaluated, what data was used for evaluation, what was the confidence score, what was the threshold, 
what output was delivered and finally what was the feedback the third team is gamifying the knowledge discovery now as information is readily available how do you make it more consumable in a way where you can nudge users to use the mental ability to find solutions rather than giving information in one go this would be particularly useful on how education in general especially for schools universities would be delivered to everyone in future for instance how about a google like smart search engine which delivers information that lets you test your skills as i talked about earlier in uber persona model the choice is up to the user to switch on or off this recommendation to conclude this video i would say the only difference between ai and we all in future would be our ability to think wisely and build the future we want i hope this video gave you some perspective on this important topic and please do subscribe to the channel to receive regular updates till then have a great week and thank you for watching